has three different types of uh, applique pieces. There's a pomegranate, there's a leaf attached to the pomegranate, and there's a second unattached or free leaf. So those are three different kinds of pieces. There are seven of each on the Adara, and then we have uh, the four corner pieces. So we need 11 of each type. Now for the pomegranate, I have this pretty red, deep red Dupiani silk. For the attached leaf, I have a light green, and for the free leaf, I have a dark green. And this is how we create the appliques. I'm going to start with the pomegranate, and we have a pattern. Put aside the fabric for a moment, and we're going to work with the uh, interfacing. Now, this is not the kind of interfacing you would use with a cotton applique, because that would make the silk or the poly um, stiff and uh, wouldn't really work great for a collar that we want to be flexible on the outer row. So instead, we use this sheer couture weight trico interfacing. It has a smooth side, and then it has a more nubby side, uh, which is an iron on, uh, has an iron on. So we're going to start by putting the smooth side up on top of the pattern. Now take a ballpoint pen and trace the pattern using short strokes. Uh, not, not long strokes, because you don't want to stretch the, um, the interfacing. And by the way, this interfacing is... Um, a kind that um, is not meant for stretchable fabrics. It will give a little bit, but it uh, should not be the kind for stretchable fabrics. We don't really want to stretch a lot. And I'm going to trace 11 copies of this pattern on the interfacing. Now with 11 pomegranates traced onto the interfacing, we're going to um, iron the interfacing onto the applique fabric. I have the wrong side of the fabric facing up, and I have the smooth side of the interfacing facing up. Uh, as we had it when we traced it, the nubby side is down. That's the part that is going to um, attach or um, uh, fuse the interfacing to the fabric. Now, use the instructions that come with your interfacing. Um, but for mine, I'm going to use a medium um, medium heat, and I'm going to use a pressing cloth. And when you do this, hold it for about I'm going to hold it for about eight or ten seconds, and then I'm going to move it to the next spot. But I'm not going to slide it. I'm going to pick it up and move it. If you slide it, you could end up stretching the interfacing and then warping your appliques. I'm going to do the whole thing like that. I'm going to go over the whole piece of fabric. Then when I'm done working on one side, I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to give it a pressing on the other side to get a really great seal. Don't press it too much because if you, especially with the, the Dupiani sub, as you press it, you start to lose some of the texture. So uh, just gentle is better. And then let that cool down in order to set really nicely. Now with the interfacing fused onto the back of the uh, leaf appliques also, I'm going to cut all the appliques out along the pen lines. And now you can see that we've pinned the pomegranates in place on the Adara using the pencil guide marks that we drew earlier. Now, if we were working with cotton, at this point we could probably just iron the appliques onto the background. But since we're working with silk, the interlining that we're using won't uh, allow us to iron them on. So instead, we're going to base them in place before we finish the edges. Uh, basically, uh, we're just going to base about a quarter of an inch away from the edge, although we'll have to get a little bit closer um, at the tops of the pomegranates. And let me show you what I mean. This will show you what we're aiming for. On the top here, you're going to have to get closer than quarter of an inch to the edge, um, but that's okay. This is not so close that it's going to interfere with the stitching. Okay. The next step is to finish the raw edge of the appliques, and I've done the first
first one, I can show you what it looks like. Now you'll see we've used close zigzag stitches called satin stitches to go all the way around the edge of the pomegranate applique to finish off the raw edges. Now the instructions that come with the pomegranate adara on the So Jewish shop have instructions for doing machine applique, uh, tips to get help you get great results. And you can also find a couple of great articles on the So Jewish blog, which is at sojewish.com. But let me give you really quickly uh, some quick tips for this project.